Hello, this is Don Saito, the founder of ERP Efficiency Experts. Today I'm going to give you a short demo on Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2017. This is intended to be an introductory demo. If you are already familiar with Nav, uh, you may be interested in seeing some of the new features, and we'll be covering some of those today as well. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to point out is when you first log into the product, you will be getting a screen based on your role in the company. So this role is called the business manager role, and it will contain the items that a business manager would be interested in seeing. If you work in accounting, or if you work in sales, or if you work in purchasing, there will be a different role for each of those positions, and you, your screens will be tailored for those different roles. So let's take a look at the layout of the screen. The first thing we notice up here is the company name. And then right below that, we have a tab. This ribbon up here is containing the key items that I may want to access. And it's also laid out very similar to Microsoft Office products, such as Word and Excel. So if you're familiar with that, you'll be familiar with the layout here. Let's take a quick look at some of these different roles. We've got quotes, orders. These are all sales orders and quotes and invoices and the sales of this month. I can drill down into this for more detail. So I can see all 44 orders and I can also double click and then I can see uh, the order itself. Notice the green colored line. This indicates that it's a positive indicator. Red would be a negative indicator and orange or yellow would be a medium indicator. So these are user configurable as is the role center itself. Let's take a look next at the business assistance charts. So this first one is top five customers by sales volume. You can see a key to the chart at the bottom here. You can also hover your mouse over the different sections of the pie chart and you will see the values change. So you can very quickly see the different sales we've got going on here. Let's take a look at the next chart. Here we have a cash cycle chart showing the days of sales outstanding, days of payments outstanding, days of sales inventory and our cash cycle in days and those are represented by the various colored lines here one thing i wanted to mention is you can change the period lengths uh, between days weeks months quarters or years simply by selecting that here we have a cash flow report very handy we have total receivables and we've got total payables and then uh, we have our total liquid funds and then from that we can calculate our total cash flow which is represented by the purple line the next chart is our income and expense graph and we can see our income here and our expenses and earnings before interest. Next chart is our aged accounts receivable and we have one followed by the aged accounts payable, top 10 customers by sales and uh, we can see that ranked, aged inventory so we have most of our inventory is fairly fresh here. And then we have some inventory that's a little bit older. And here we have sales trends by different types of customers. So here we have domestic customers, EU customers, foreign customers. Of course, for you, you, you might have different customer categories. But then you can see the trends there. And that's it on the graphs. So let's continue on. Here's a self-service section to our role center, and here we can see timesheets, uh, any that were submitted, rejected, or approved. And over to our right, we can have our favorite accounts that we want to monitor. So uh, in this case, I'm interested in monitoring cash, so I, I have my cash accounts up here. You can add whatever accounts you want. Down below here, we have a trial balance showing our revenue, cost, margin. And then this is a, a brand new feature to Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2017. And this is the ability to view Power BI reports straight in the product itself, right in your role center. So what is Power BI? So Power BI stands for Power Business Intelligence. It's a fairly new product from Microsoft. It's a cloud-based product. And basically what it does is it allows you to visualize your data. And so you can take uh, your data from your ERP system and then you can create graphs and charts and very visual representations of that data. Very, very handy, useful, and it's also fairly easy to create these. So let's go ahead and, and take a look, little bit more detail into this. So this first one is called Item Sales and Profit. 
and uh, here we see various circles and as I hover on these circles I can see this is an item number 777766BC-C and that's the sales dollars amount and the profit for that and then over here to the far right we have a different item and we've got a higher sales volume for this and a higher profit so basically along the X axis here we have sales dollars and then going up vertically on the Y axis we have profit all right and these check boxes here are totally configurable so if you wanted to for example filter on certain types of products so here we we have resellable products then we're just going to see those uh, or if we want to see raw materials we can see those or if we want to see a combination we can check both of those so these are, are filters for your use all right let's take a look at the next one here we have item sales by customer and again you have filtering down here we have sales opportunities which is showing us our sales pipeline Microsoft Dynamics Nav has a built-in CRM system so you can track and log your opportunities then we have a sales dashboard and this is very handy you can actually move this uh, chart or map of the world around and you can see the circles if I hover again we can see what the sales dollars are in those various sectors we can also see that broken out here um, by customer groups so we can see sales foreign sales and so forth and this is an interesting representation just showing you another way we can represent data is the larger boxes are showing larger sales and this is by item description then we have our finance uh, section here and these are showing us various trends for example our gross margin our operating margin over to the right we have cash cycle days of payment outstanding and so forth and we also have here earnings before interest total expenditures total revenue and again here we've got various portions of our income statement we've got revenue cost gross margin and operating expenses and so on we also have sales orders by salesperson and so here we have two different salespeople competing uh, very heavily here we've got John Roberts and Peter represented by the different colors black and teal and here we can see by item the black was sold by Peter and the teal was sold by John for the various items that we sell so that gives you an idea of Power BI and it's very handy now because it's right in the product you don't have to leave the product to actually see your Power BI charts and graphs so the next thing I want to show and this will be the last thing here this is a short demo is the improved integration with Office 365 let's take a look at Outlook here and let's these are just some sample emails so the first one here is a customer or prospect emailing you uh, interested in your line of products how can I get more information okay so this is a contact and I want to log this as a contact I want to create this contact normally you'd have to leave your Outlook you'd have to go to your ERP system and then you got to create your contact and so on well you don't need to do that anymore because right within Outlook itself we have a Dynamics Nav tab and we can click the contact insights button and here it's it knows that Don is not a contact because it's not in our list of contacts so it's asking us if we want to add Don as a contact or we can look at her existing contacts so let's go ahead and do that and then we here we can see the name is already populated for us the email is populated and is is uh, this a person or a company that we're setting up in this case it's a person and we can associate it to a company or not in this case I'm not going to and I press OK let's go ahead and click the details view and we can click the edit button and here we can fill in the address and phone numbers and, and so on all right so the next thing I want to show you is the example of how to look up information so let's take a look at this email here this is a email from a vendor and wanting to know the status of an invoice okay normally you'd have to leave Outlook you've got to go to your ERP system then you got to search for the for the document and then you got to bring it up and maybe you have to email it maybe you got to do more research well that all takes time and uh, it's uh, this is a much more efficient way to do it you simply click the document links button and it will literally bring up that document right in Outlook this is my purchase invoice and I see it's not due for a while so I can now respond back to my customer okay so I'll just take this due date copy this and then reply and say 
the invoice is due on uh, payment will occur shortly before this date. Okay, so now I've handled that and I can go on to my next task. Let's take a look at another email here. What is the status of this invoice? And this is actually a customer in this case asking us the status of a sales invoice. Maybe they want another copy or maybe they want to find more information. Again, you simply click the documents link button and that document is going to pop right up there for you and you're able to take a look at it. And also you can carry out additional actions here, which are very handy. So for example, you can send it by email. You can actually look at more information about this customer. So what is it about this customer you want to find out? Well, you can see they have a large balance, but only a small amount is past due. So we're not going to worry about that. We can see their last year to date sales, and we can also see the age of accounts receivable right on screen. We can also see their full history right here. So we can see not only their history, but current transactions. So here we have ongoing sales quotes, sales orders, and so forth. We can see posted information as well, such as shipments and invoices. And again, you've got the drill down functionality right here, right within Outlook. And we can see he's got three invoices. You can click on one of these and then again you can see the detail you can look at the items and so forth so very handy very easy to use all right with an outlook this will give you much more efficiency uh, it's going to save you a lot of time so this is i think a fantastic add-on to the product so that concludes this video thanks for joining us if you have any comments anything else you want to see in the future go ahead and add those to the comments below thank you for your time